Hello, I am Supriya Peshan. I am the second year resident physician in Norton Community Hospital, Ballard Health, Virginia. I am here with Dr. Dunn. Dr. Dunn, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Richard Dunn. Uh, I'm a GI oncologist at the University of Rochester Medical Center and happy to be with you. Thank you. First of all, Dr. Dunn, thank you so much for joining us for this panel and giving some insights about the treatment regimen and the clinical trials. So, Dr. Dunn, what are the two top takeaway points from this panel of discussion you want to emphasize in the community practice? Yeah, I think um, I think it's a the growing use of uh, of ctDNA uh, in uh, following our patients with colon cancer, considering it as a tool uh, to help us with treatment decisions. Uh, it's not going away. It's just going to be integrated more and more into our practice. And with ongoing trials, we're uh, you know it, it's going to be an important aspect of our patients' care. So best to get familiar with it, sink you know sink our teeth into the data. Uh, because ultimately, I think it's going to be helping our patients. And then um, the other is the growth of uh, different targeted options right. in colorectal cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing it at the meeting this year. We've seen it in recent approvals. Mm -hmm. So NGS testing, biomarker testing for our patients is so crucial. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the code break 301 trial. Okay. So uh, how do you see this impacting the standard of the care in this patient population in the context of specifically for the chemo refractory diseases? Yeah, so um, full disclosure, this is the night before the presentation. So I haven't <laughs> right. seen I haven't seen the present and I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to it tomorrow, but uh, I've seen the abstract, it's getting accelerated FDA approval. Right. And so I think, you know, looking at the data, uh, comparing uh, full FOX uh, and BRAF targeted therapy, uh, versus uh, standard of care mm -hmm. is seeing, and I mentioned in, in the discussion earlier, uh, how much of an unmet need this is. I think before uh, before this uh, this study uh, came out and was presented, um, I think we were looking for ways to be more aggressive with chemotherapy in BRAF uh, V600E mutant colorectal cancer because we knew the outcomes are so poor. So I think a lot of us were using triplet chemotherapy regimens like full foxiri with bevacizumab as a way to see can we get better control of the disease with more aggressive therapy. So now we will have an option in the front line uh, to target BRAF to get uh, better disease control. You're seeing improvement in overall response rates. Uh, we're going to see, I, I, I think, uh, you know, it's, uh, the data is a little too immature to see okay. overall survival data, but I think, you know, that we may see that in the future as well. Um, so I think one of the things that would be in talking about chemo refractory disease is many of these patients will become resistant to that uh, regimen is what are the mechanisms of resistance? Where are there opportunities to target BRAF in later lines of therapy? Um, are there other biomarkers that can be targeted in a disease that is driven you know, by an oncogene like like uh, like BRAF. Right, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining this panel and giving us insights about all these treatment regimens. We're glad you're here. So. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you. All right. <laughs>